Today we're going to talk about how throughput can drive ROI for your automated systems. A lot of times we're monitoring the number of employees that it will replace, uh, things like injury, and along with a ton of other categories of financial drivers for automated systems. But throughput is sometimes left out of the equation. And why is throughput so important and why can it drive the ROI of an automated system? And this is actually one of the reasons to drive the most ROI. And let's break this down and put this into an example. But before we do that, what is throughput? Throughput is the ability to output a certain amount of product from a system. Now, for different manufacturing processes, this might be one full complete product, it might be sub-assemblies of a completed product, and you have multiple sub-assemblies that go together to create the final product. However, the number one objective for all manufacturers is that final product and getting that final product out the door. So let's say sales are booming and you're selling 10 times the amount of product that you were selling last year, AKA you have a demand to have 10 times the amount of throughput. Well, let's say the current employees that you have were at pretty much a full work capacity. They maybe even were working overtime and weekends to accomplish that current amount of throughput that was required last year. Now you have two different options here. You can either hire 10 times the amount of employees or you could develop some automated system or go to some automation supplier to develop you an automated system. Now, as a lot of manufacturers know, it's extremely complicated to get more employees in the door. Everybody's kind of struggling with holding and maintaining and acquiring new employees. So 10Xing the number of employees that's required to output the number of product or have the amount of throughput that you need for a product it's almost impossible to entirely do that through the acquisition of new employees. And sometimes this is the strategy and sometimes manufacturers go and build new facilities and new locations just to ensure that they have the ability to hire more new employees. But let's say for instance, we could build an automated system and that automated system could do 10 times the amount of throughput as the current employees that you have. Now this automated system has given you the ability to throughput 10 times the amount, right? So let's take into consideration how much you are currently paying for the number of employees you have on staff. And let's say for the total of the 10 number of employees, you're paying roughly 500,000 a year. Now let's say for instance, the automated pieces of equipment comes in at $4 million to build this piece of automated equipment. Now, if you just take the consideration of the number of employees you have currently, the automated system will pay off in, let's say, eight years. And for 99.9% .9 of manufacturers out there or any investor out there, this is not gonna work out. It's way too long of an ROI time frame for anybody to wanna take on that type of investment. But whenever you take the consideration of this machine can do 10 times the amount of throughput than your current existing number of employees can do, it has a huge advantage for ROI and the ROI can be calculated much more quickly. You can then take this back to like the simple human calculator where let's say for instance, it would take 10 times the amount of employees that you currently have we could take the $500,000 in annual salaries between the 10 employees, and let's say we times that by 10 to give us the number of employees that it would require to fulfill the throughput that is now needed. So now this would currently take us to a $5 million a year cost for employees to output this product. Now, as mentioned before, this system is roughly a $4 million system. So you can see right there, now you have an ROI for a system that's roughly 10 months, which is more than good enough for most manufacturers. Most manufacturers wanna see a two year ROI. Some are a little bit more aggressive and also some are a little bit more relaxed where they can tolerate a three year ROI, especially whenever the long-term payout is much higher. So what makes the throughput different from just doing a normal employee calculation? As you can see, I kind of reverse engineered that and we went back to an employee based calculation for an ROI. Well, the number one difference is, is your sales, right? It's the number of products that you have the ability to sell or are already projected to sell. So now you have what I would consider an output issue. You have an issue with the ability for your company to output the number of products needed to fulfill your sales orders, 
or let's say for instance you have a really good sales process you can you can monitor your entire sales process and, and know if I do this we're gonna get X number more of sales and if that's the case and throughput is your only issue then automation may be the next move you can put those sales resources into action and there's different sales strategies into action and you can use automation to be your tool to throughput and output the number of products that are required for the new sales demand that you have. So hopefully this thought process is a little bit different. Let's think about sales. Let's think about how sales drives the need for more output and more throughput and how that relates to automated equipment. So let's not just make our automation equipment investments based on saving money, saving for the number of employees, but let's think about how it can generate us more sales and make the company more money in the long term. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Malik. I grab the CEO of Elite Automation, and I'm here to bring you guys a ton more content around automation, robotics, and manufacturing. So stay tuned and hit that subscribe button.